We're back in the wilderness. Let's go hunt some fallow deer and level up our hand cannon. What's up guys and gals and welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name and the hunter call of the wild is the game. And in today's episode, that's right. We have to hunt two fallow deers in a certain region on the map. And we're gonna use our hand cannons or 357s to try to level up and progress our handgun skills. Maybe we can unlock some weapons. Let's look at the map. The mission is marked, whoa, that's a long journey. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We're gonna go to this lookout point, open this entire area. Let's go ahead and place a nav right there. We'll fast travel to this house and we'll take a four-wheeler. I just wanna note that in the last episode, I was a little off my rocker. I didn't feel good. I was sick the night before with stomach problems. My tummy hurt. <laughs> and I couldn't think clearly. So hopefully we'll be able to knock these missions out and maybe knock out a lot more missions than in the last episode. So let's quit wasting time. Let's go order up our Chinese four-wheeler. Can't even climb hills. Piece of shit. Let's let's do a yeah. Let's do a black one. All right. Where's it at? Oh yes. Well, we had a little glitch there. That's a first for this game. Let's hop on. See if we can take any trails. Oh yes, we can take trails. But holy shit, is it going to be a long one? It's going to be a long ride. We need to take a right, then a left, then a right, then a left, then a left. Well, let's get the wind in our hair. And if I see anything on the way, I'll let you know. Holy shite! What is this? Uh, we come to a bridge. A little bit confused. I don't know if the bridge is broken or not. No, it's not broken. Weird. That's a sweet jump for the four-wheeler. Let's go, let's go look at this real quick. This is odd. 150-year-old semicircular bridge, famous uh, for forming a full circle in the water on a clear day. Well, that's pretty cool. I thought that was interesting. Figured I'd point that out. Now let's jump this bastard. See how high we can get. I thought maybe Bigfoot had fucked it up or something. All right, here we go. Let's get some speed. I'm gonna get some speed. See if we can crack at least third gear over this bitch. And here we go. Yep, third gear. Oh, shit! Yeah, that fucking Chinese four-wheelers suck. Ridiculous, bro. All right! We've made it to the top of the hill. Man, these these little uh, lookouts are insane, man. Look at this. This almost looks damn near identical to the other one we found. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I like this one better, I think. Let's take a picture. Ah, uh, yes. Breathe in that fresh wilderness. All right, man. Let's go ahead and claim this. There we go. The fallow deer. Hey, back. This is the place you've probably seen on every Hirschfelden postcard. Sprayberg Castle, overlooking the lake at the top of the hill. Yeah, I don't even have to sell it to you. It really is picturesque. The Hirschfelden. Okay, now we've opened up the area. It looks like we have uh, a house up here. This is a pretty small area. When I entered this area right here, the cornfields, she talked about luring them in. So I don't know if uh, I'm going to have to lure them in or what, but let's go ahead and set a nav for here. Let's take our four-wheeler. Not all the way in, but pretty close. And then we'll ditch the four-wheeler, and we'll go after that homestead, cabin, whatever the hell you want to call it. Saving spot. Let's pick up some wicked speed down the hill. Oh my god. Oh shit! Tokyo Drift! Oh my god, I don't think I've ever been this fast on a four-wheeler. Oh shit! Oh shit! What kind of fucking tires are on this thing, man? Street tires? Fucking cheap-ass Chinese pieces of shit. Look, can't even, can't even go off-road. Tell you what, man. I bet these things cost like $500. All right, man. We'll park right here. Here are the cornfields. Cornfields are uh, nice and loud for your steps. Very crunchy. So these are cornfields. These are harvested cornfields. Okay, gotcha. God damn, I'm hearing a lot of noise, but I'm not seeing anything. Look how beautiful this is, man. I'm probably gonna say it in every episode. 
Yep. Gonna say it in every episode. It's the most beautiful game ever made. In my eyes. Easily. The Apex engine works like a charm. Okay, so uh, let's make sure, let's see if we're in the area. Okay, we're right dead center in the area. We're probably scared off some, some things. But we're gonna go ahead and use our Rattler and see if we can lure some in. I'll probably shoot him down with the 270 Huntsman. No, 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 no. I got my handgun, that's right. We'll reel them in and blow their heads off with my handgun. Okay, been out here quite some time, rattling. Nothing's clucking. I see no prints. I think that's what we need to look for. There's some prints. Pull out our binos and see if we can see anything. Nope. It's dry as a desert. Oh, there's tracks right there. Holy shit. Fallow deer. That's a red fox. God damn it. Not seeing any tracks either. It's one thing about the binos that I didn't know. You can see tracks with the binos. And yeah, dry as a desert. Nothing. Hell, I might be able to set up this tree stand and chill in it for a while. Let's do that. God, man, look at these fields. It's amazing. What is this? It's a hunting structure, bro. Let's jump in, dear. Man, I really wish I could get a kill in here. That'd be perfect. All right, man. I'm gonna do some calls from in here. See if I can get something to cluck. Yep, nothing's clucking. God damn it. All right, we're gonna go over to the east side of the cornfields. Seem to be a bit more open. And uh, we'll make our way over there, see if we can see some tracks. Only tracks I've found so far are of uh, that of a red fox. Yeah. Again, they're not clucking. I've been here for about five minutes and not a peep. So I'm going to make my way over. Oh, this is another hunting stand. Okay. We might have to reset the day because uh, I think I scared them all off with my four-wheeler if there was even any to begin with. So that kind of sucks. Let me check and see what this is over here. Ah, road deer. Fucking bastards. Yeah. Okay, it's getting a little bit late in the day anyway. Uh, I'm going to traverse over here, claim this area, and then we'll come back in the morning. All right, we are back. It is the next day. It's a rainy one, too. My ass is soggier than ever. Uh, we purchased some glowing sights for our handgun. We're making our way back over. To the cornfields, bray, and we're gonna plug us a fallow deer. So far, no tracks. We're just slowly walking over. I don't want to disturb anything this time. I'm pretty sure me driving the four wheeler over there scared everything away yesterday. So let's get uh, ahead of this tree line just a bit, do some scout, and see what we can see. Hopefully, there's some just dancing around in the cornfields. I also have scent eliminator. And it lasts, I do believe, for 160 minutes. Thought I heard something. I guess not. That's fallow deer dookie, bray. Looks like we've got a fallow deer nest right up here. And we've got some tracks, too. It's time to hunker down and lure them in. I think we're in the zone. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're in the zone. Yes, we are. <clears throat> All right, we're back. Uh, I've been playing this game for a solid four hours. No road deers in the cornfield. So uh, what I've done is I got kind of pissed off. And I kept finding tracks around the area. But I couldn't find any in the area. So I went to the outskirts. I actually followed the tracks all the way out in the woods. Pretty far away from the, uh, the zone. And I got angry. So I started shooting the shit out of them. Right outside the zone. Hopefully in hopes to scare them back in the area I need them to be. So, uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. But God damn it, we're gonna try. Ah! Okay, uh, it's a new day. Um, there, I just found some droppings from a fallow deer, and they're fresh as fuck, but they said just now, so there's fallow deer out here in the fields. I think I actually see him, but I want to draw him close enough that way I can blow their fucking schmegma off with my pistola. I've got my scent eliminator on so they cannot smell me. 
So it doesn't really matter which way the wind's blowing right now. We just got to be patient. Now, I've read on several threads as well that this collar, uh, the bleak deer collar, I do believe it's called, um, attracts fallow deers as well. You know, there's a big argument about it. That and, and I've actually used it before and I've attracted them. I don't know. It's weird. So I'm just going to use them both. Oh, shit. Bro, something's walking up on me fast. Come on. Where? Okay, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. There's our fellow deer right there, baby. Quiet. Come on. Come on. Oh, fuck. There's a couple. Oh, fuck. 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 Fucking everywhere, dude. Okay, hit that one twice. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah, he's fucked. He is fucked. Yes! Dude, you have no idea how long I've been out here hunting these fucking things. And I still have to kill one more. Uh, I've got a tent now. So, I'm gonna place the tent somewhere out in the field. That way I can easily get a hold of him if I need to. That dude is dead. He's dead really close. Yes, sir. Medium bleed rate. We're still in the area. He should be right up here. Let's check his health, check his blood. Yeah, he's dead. He's a dead man. That was a good fucking shot. That was point blank. Cracked him twice. Wait a minute. Is that the same one? I guess so. And there he is. Yes! Finally! God! I'll tell you what, man. Them red foxes are everywhere up here, man. Okay. Let's collect. You got one? Great. Yes. Don't forget to harvest it. Then on to another. Look at that. That was a right lung shot and then a flesh shot. That should have been a spine shot. All right, man. One more. One more and we got this mission in the bag. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's reel this bitch in. Wrong collar, come on. This will be a good spot, too, out in the road. Come on, Mr. Fallow. Get some of this 357. You know you want it. You know you want to poop out of your rib cage. It'd be cool. You'll be the talk of all the fallow deers. There he is, there he is. Ready? Yes! Yes! Dropped him! Fuck yeah! There you go. Yes! Another one. I'll let Zomer know. This should calm his nerves. Woo! Well, it seems someone is making new friends. I just had a chat with Robert Zomer, and he was very pleased with how you took care of the fallow deer in his cornfields. You know, Zomel is a real enthusiast of special equipment hunting. Really? Bow hunting is one of his passions. Oh, God. As a thank you for your work, he wants to invite you to partake in his favorite pastime. He's challenging you to hunt a red fox using a bow. I think it's some kind of rite of passage. Well, that's easy. There's tons of red foxes out here. And I happen to have a red fox collar. Or a distress collar, whatever you want to call it. All right. Cool. Um, shit, what should I use? I think I'll go ahead and do this mission. I think this is a pretty simple mission. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Uh, we need to probably go back to the house. Yeah, we need to get our bow. I sure as fuck ain't using the one I've got on me. That ain't happening. Hi there. Gerlinda sends her regards for your help with the fallow deer. She was wondering if you could help out with another photo for now, her Now fuck that. It I ain't doing that a shit. Great job with the last one. Nope. This time, she wants nope. a picture of a fallow deer with Königsberg Lake in the background. I'd recommend southeastern Petersheim for it. That's Petersheim, is it? I'm not taking no pictures. I'm a hunter, all right? There. I'm not a photographer. God! We're going to go with our bear claw, man. we got to free up some weight. Pull our tent out. Let's grab our bear claw light. Ooh, wait a minute. Yeah, we've got recurves. And we've got 600 broadhead bolts. Oh, those are bolts. 
Yeah, we'll take these. Now let's make sure that uh, we're in the right area when we do this. Let's go to mission logs. Take a picture of a fallow deer. No, we're not doing that one. We're going to do this one. Harvest one fox down with a 60-pound bow. Yeah, that's our 60-pound bow. I really wish we had better sights for this thing. Got our predator jackrabbit collar. It's in the bag, man. It's game over. Oh my god. Oh, fuck, that thing's right next to me, but I can't see it. There's two of them. I'll do one more call. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, it keeps getting out of my sight. It's back there in the brush. Shit! There he is. There he is. There he is. Gotta get a little bit closer, man. I can't miss this shot. Damn it. There he is, right there. Come this way. Come on. Come on. It's still a little bit too far away for my liking. Let's hit it one more time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's right up above us. God damn, that scared the fuck out of me. All right, I just did a mating call, so he's pretty happy. He's got a boner. We're going to eliminate that problem. I want to get up here in the clearing. That way I can get a good shot on him. All we got to do is hit him, man. We don't really even have to get, like, a good shot off on him. We hit him with, a, with an arrow, he's, he's pretty fucked. Even if it's a flesh wound, he won't last very long. Yeah, here's his path right here. You can see where he walked. Okay, here's somewhat of a clearing right here. I think I'll work with this. I'm gonna try to lure him back in. Okay, well. We practice our aim a bit. <laughs> uh, that was awesome. That wasn't a red fox, but uh, that was one of those roe deers, bro. <gasps> Oh shit. Uh, I couldn't tell if that was our fox or not. That might have been the deer I just shot. I don't know. I really, really hope that wasn't a fox. Damn it! Oh no, we're soon to find out. Yeah, that no. That definitely wasn't our fox. <sighs> this fucking thing is right there when it's doing warning calls. I don't understand. It's not upwind of me. Makes no fucking sense. Fucking sun's going down. I'm right here, come on. Got some food for you. Like, almost, it's, it almost seems like these fucking things are glitched out. I don't understand it. Oh, I think I see it. Yep, there he is. He's in that damn bush. I don't understand, like, I'm doing the call. He's not coming any fucking closer. What's the point of a collar? That's how long I've been playing this game. The fucking sun went down. I've been playing this for about nine hours, dog. This is, this is ridiculous. This is definitely the hardest map or missions that I've done so far. I haven't even completed the missions on uh, the first map. The Taiga, now that was a smooth series. The Taiga is definitely my favorite map so far. And I love a challenge, don't get me wrong, but god damn, the work and effort I gotta put into these videos is uh, lengthy. Yeah, man, it's dark. I might have to go back to the house and try to find some type of scent. I have no idea. But I've been tracking this one red fox, and I'm, and I'm meters from the motherfucker. Meters. And I can't draw him out into the open. It just, it's not happening. I see his trail right there. I see the blue. He's all over the place. Like he's he's right here. He was right next to me, and I couldn't shoot at him because he was he was too deep in the brush, and I didn't want to scare him. I'll tell you what, man. I'm gonna travel back home, make it daytime, and we'll go at it again. Oh, mother sucker! All right, so we've got one that wants a penis. It's a girl, and she's in heat. She's looking for some weenie. Let's give her some weenie. Give her a big, long weenie with a broad-tipped arrow on it. It's really, really fucking close. 
Uh, I'm undetected right now. Oh shit! All right, man, we've we've man, I've got to get this. I have to get this. So it's a fucking matter of life and death here. So I'm not gonna move. I'm just gonna call until that motherfucker gets close. Then it's game over. He's right there behind that tree. Frolicking. Frolicking through the beautiful forest! Oh yeah, we were in the wrong area before. So, uh, yeah. That's why, uh, it wouldn't have mattered if we hit one anyway. So, I'm glad I picked up on that. It didn't specify in the mission notes. But it was on the map. I like how this collar does absolutely fucking nothing. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, dude, I'm... Whoa. Whoa, 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 where? I mean, like, where, bro? You didn't put off a signal. He's, he's right here, man. I don't know, I, I... I mean, I, you hear that? I mean, but where in the fuck is he? It sounds like he's, like, ten feet away from me. Warning call... God damn it! This, this fucking game is pissing me off beyond belief, dude. He, I mean, he ran in a big fucking circle. I'm sitting here squealing at him. And he just, they just keep getting further away. Man, fuck this. Shit's, man, this shit's getting really stupid. Alright, we got one shooting out warning call, so, uh, this will be like the 10th attempt at a fucking red fox with a goddamn bow. There he is, right there walking directly towards us directly towards us I might have to take the shot man all right man let's rest he's walking away we ain't got a choice oh no he stopped okay he's walking in circles pretty much come on come just keep walking baby just keep walking yes Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Yes. Dude, I've been playing this game for 9 hours. 9 hours. I just let's look at the map. If I'm not in the area, I'm about to just throw my fucking mouse. Thank god. Holy shit, what a shot. What a fucking shot. You got it. Oh. oh. I'll let some oh. know he's found a fellow bow hunting enthusiast. Zomel was very impressed with your bow hunting skills, by the way. <sighs> he wondered if you wanted to test run another new product. I guess you got his attention, and now he wants your input. There's a new roe deer scent on the market that he wanted you to try out. Apparently, it's a perfect imitation of, well, deer urine. Care to try it out? Yeah, I'll drink it! When lure hunting like this, it always helps to find an elevated spot in a clearing or open field. A hunting stand hides you and your scent from an animal, so be sure to take advantage of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know it, it hid my scent. That's, that's new. Look at that shot! Right in the fucking brain, dude. With a 60-pound bow, that man... There couldn't have been a better outcome to this fucking video. I, I'm, I wouldn't say it was worth it, but goddamn was it dope. So it looks like in the next episode we're going to test out a new scent. And uh, we're going to hunt some roe deer. So that's going to be dope. If you liked the video, finger me, subscribe, and flick my ding dong. And if I really tickled your belly button, you can join the Mad Army. Become a Patreon or a sponsor or a member, whatever the hell you want to call it. And you get access to exclusive weekly live streams, Mad Army emotes. And I can talk to you directly through the sponsor-only post on the Outer Middle Show community page. And if you want to look the part, peep the dopest merch in all of the universe. It's all down in the description, including my social media. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me everywhere. I post all the time. Just a bunch of goofy shit of me, you know, like dancing naked and stuff like that. It's really awesome. I love you guys and a friendly word of advice. If you're feeling erotic and you want to spice things up, cut a little sliver in a slice of bologna and make out with your partner through it. <laughs> ah, yeah, it's delicious. All right? Don't forget that. Uh, the outer middle show. Shooting foxes in their heads with them arrows, bro. I pull back, then I let loose. Blew his brains out, turned that shit to juice. 
Call my taxidermist Sew it up Take his motherfucking head Throw it up I think red foxes are really stupid He likes the smell of my ass I toot it <laughs> If you Fuck like you. to make a call, please hang up and try again If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator Thank you